not, we're not talking anywhere. We have to just do right. Three, two, one, and welcome to my studio. You're here with Mark the Artist, and today I'm making an NFT, um, you know, which I got the idea, because uh, I've made NFTs before, just to test them out. And uh, a guy tried to scam me by saying, oh, oh, I'll buy some NFTs off you if you go to this scam website. And I was like, are you sure, mate? That seems like a bit of a scam to me. Uh, on Google, it says it's a scam. And the guy was like, oh, no, they're really good. I use these all the time. But it did give me the idea. I'm pretty sure he's trying to scam me. Um, it did give me the idea to make some NFTs. So, um, and I thought, what can I do with my paintings in digital land that you can't do with, say, just a static image. You know, I mean, NFTs are great, and all that, but there's got to be a reason to have a picture that is in the digital sphere. So my reason is that my, I don't know if you know, if you've seen my paintings put in person, you'll know that they're, most of them are reflective because um, I use reflective resins and plastics and such. So what we're working on today, well, I'm working on with uh, my good friend, designer Tim, um, uh, you can check him out on, uh, what's your, uh, Timstagram. Timstagram. You can check him out on Timstagram. Uh, I'll put a link in the, in the comments and things. If you want to check out his work, he's very good. And, uh, don't forget to like, and subscribe, uh, because you know, everyone says that on YouTube, don't they? So what I'm doing today is creating an NFT as a moving image in one place and I'm gonna move the light source around, or Tim's gonna move the light source around as we get the, um, get the picture. So people who get the digital image will benefit from having a moving light source within the image. So there's actually a reason to own something on the digital landscape. Well, that's my reasoning anyway. So uh, yeah, I mean, watch us work and uh, enjoy. So, right, okay. Are we ready for the next uh, the next yeah, one? Then? Probably some challenge, mate. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Right. Make sure to edit that part. Right? <laughs> so I've set, I've set up my camera um, with the appropriate settings. Um, and yeah, actually, I'm a photographer. I am a trained photographer, so I do know how the camera works. I could probably explain it, but um, that might be a bit boring. I'll I'll do a tutorial on photography at some point. Oh, well, photographing your artwork, that might be a useful tutorial. Okay, so here we're going to go for the, uh, the first run, because, uh, you know, let's do it. So right. take my shoes off, so I don't get my creases. Right. Okay, right, so... Three, two... Hit it. That was beautiful, Tim. Ah, except for the fact I wasn't recording. How did that happen? So I hit record uh, and it went... Cameras, they have standbys. Who thought of that? What an idiot. Right, sorry, that was a really good, really good practice run. Okay, now we're on. Oh, Tim, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah, so anyway, um, yeah, we'll be doing that for most of the day. Um, I don't think it's particularly interesting to just keep doing it, but just letting you guys check in, letting you guys know what I'm up to, and uh, you can be able to find my NFTs on the website when they get minted, uh, and um, give me some comments, tell me, that, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll check in with you again soon, and I'll be answering all kinds of questions. Okay, have a good weekend. Well, have a good Sunday.